Hi guys, so today I'll be trying out Spellbinder's new uh, large die of the month for September 2021. Um, it's this beautiful little set here. Of course, we have our little birdie. Um, I think it is called Little Birdie Told Me. But um, these items were sent free of charge from our review uh, by Spellbinders. And of course, all opinions are my own. And any links in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchased items through those links. So I already did an unboxing kind of whenever I went over the uh, card kit. So we kind of went through everything. But of course, um, this is a new video, so I'll quickly go over the items again. So up here, I kind of placed them on this uh, magnetic mat just so I can show you guys, but yours will come, you know, on a carrier with some inspo, maybe a card idea or, you know, a little bit about assembling it, something like that, um, that you'll have to look at. Uh, but we have our little bird here, and he has little different pieces that we can play with. Of course, his little tail, little wing. Um, these pieces actually are decorative pieces that would then go over that if you want them to, or you, you know, decorate them as much or as little as you like. He does have little pieces here that would be like his little beak and um, I think that's his eye and then this little piece here that can go over his little head just to give some variation of colors and things. There's lots of little like twigs and stick type things and if you can see that here because it also has these little circles that you can play with however you like you know you can be very um, organic with these or however you want to use them geometric uh, make them look like balloons you have this guy that can then hold like the different little um, circles on there that again look like balloons you have like a tail on that if you want to add it you can make you know branches you can put those on there you can use them however you like there it's just a really fun I think um added design element here um these are his little legs so i should put that back up there and then we have flowers and like the little ones i always call them bells but it's like these little flowers little leaves they even have little music notes for a little chirping there look how cute that is and then, uh, again, more flowers we can layer up and do lots of fun things with some little um, extra bits, you know. And then it has the words tweet with the background. Like this die, this would nestle into that, so it's like um, a background uh, die. So tweet, just, note, and a. So like just a note or a note, you know, tweet, whatever, <laughs> however you want to mix that up. Um, It'll be really fun. And so what I'm going to do is grab some papers and a card base and things like that, and we'll get started. Okay, guys, you know, I grabbed some paper just for a standard two size card, and this um, is just like the one that comes in the card kit. Um, and then I paired up with some of this pretty paper that comes from uh, this month's card uh, pad, which is the together is the best. Um, and I just like the little pairs. I thought that was really sweet to go with the little birdie. So I cut that at four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I'm probably still going to put another piece of like um, cardstock just cut like with a die. But for now, that's going to be the, the card base. And while I was in that card kit, I pulled out these because I was like, oh, you know what? This has really great colors for a little birdie, too. So I think I'm going to do the light blue and the dark blue. And I'm going to need some white. And I'm going to need some black. <laughs> and if you want to make their beak like a, you know, beak color, I think I'm just going to go with white and black accents. So I think for now that's enough. And then I also have the stamp set, and I probably use this. Uh, this is the clear stamp of the month, and I was thinking about using this little circle. We'll talk about that in a minute. But for now, let's look at our pieces and see how we want to orient this. Actually, this is kind of gray, which is not bad. Yeah, I think that's more of a gray color, isn't it? Oh, okay, actually, that works out for me, because I wanted a third color for the little bird body, so that works out, and I still, I'll just grab some white from, like, a scrap <laughs> that I have over here. Yeah, if you look at it really closely, this is very white where that one's a little bit more gray. Okay, that works. So I want his little body to be like the light blue. And these little accent pieces, again, we have a beak, we have like eye pieces. I'm gonna cut it out of black paper and I'm also gonna cut it out of white paper. Okay, so from the black and also from the white. Um, and then his little extra wings. I kinda wanna put those the, the same color, why not? Uh, let's do the darker blue color on that base for both of those. And then that little accent color, remember we talked about that I showed you this bit? I'll do the gray with that. And then his little legs can also be black. And while I'm at it, I think I'm going to cut out some of these little notes in black, just in case I want to use them, so that way I cut them all at once right now. So I'll just put some tape on these things so they don't move, and that way I can run them all through together at the same time and have all those pieces cut at once. And I think that's all we need for our little bird. So I will run these through, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my pieces here. Just thinking about how I want to start this. Let's see. Okay. 
We got these little guys out. There it goes. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down. These accent pieces first, and they both look like they can use a little of this trick. <laughs> That there. So cute. So I was kind of thinking about when I was putting it together, I thought, okay, well, I do like the dark blue like for the accent, but then it would be further away from the little light blue body. And I just thought it'd be better if, it, you know, we kind of transition from like light to dark and then back here to have that contrast. Does that make sense? So that's why I went that way with that. And then the little tail, you can put it out here, you can put it behind, wherever it is that you want to put that. I do want to note his little belly it has those little dots there, so if you want to fill that in with something, what I would do is just take a scrap like this, like I'm going to do right now, or I think even the wing shape, if you cut, let me see, see how the wing shape doesn't really take anything away, I think if you cut that out of like whatever color contrast paper you want, then you can just pop it back here and trim off that little bit, it pretty much takes up that whole space, and you can't see through it, the, it was a wing, you know, but for now, I'm just going to take this little scrap, and I'm just going to kind of eyeball this before I actually stick it down. Oh, get behind there. Something like that. Yeah, and I'll glue that on. Put most of the glue over here and around that little edge. Okay. So now his little tummy's full. And then for his little mouth and beak and all that, I do want to keep this little black piece. There it is. <laughs> right in here. And I'll start with that because that'll kind of help me, I think, judge where the other pieces should go. It's a little bit too much glue. And I just want to make sure this is the right side. So cute. So there's that. And then I think I'm just going to go in with the white eye. Very close to that. And then we'll put that little black dot in his eye that also came from that same, this same die has all those pieces there. I'm putting it really close here. I don't know that you have to, but looks good right there and I'm gonna place this little uh, accent piece on his little head and I'm going with black on that one but if you want to use different color of course you would then cut that same little accent dye piece from something else I'm just trying to see where this <laughs> it looks like he has a toupee got a little little hair piece going on all right there we go and then his little dot for his eye. Oh, well, it's so cute. It actually, again, I don't know if you remember recently I did another, the scarecrow die had something like that, the little dot in there. So you can kind of pay attention to it if you want that facing up or down. Because that will definitely give a different look depending on where the eyeball is. We'll see. <laughs> That's so funny because it's such a small little detail, but you can totally see right through that little white. Cute. Oh, and then you can cut two wings. You know, I just did the one, but if you want one tucked behind in the back, you can definitely do that. Um, oh, yeah, I was going to say, where are his little legs? <laughs> Here they are. And I have the notes for later when we start putting the card together. All right. And I might pop his wing on later on too, because that way maybe I'll do it more dimensional. Um, I'm just trying to figure out, do I want his tail? I do kind of like it out here, so I'll put his little tail on right now. And then we'll pop this on later. And I'm just going to put glue, because I don't know where I want his legs. So I'm just putting glue for now. And then we'll put his little legs on. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I was going to say, they're so skinny. They're um, bird legs. Chicken legs. You know, they're usually kind of skinny, right? That is so cute. 
actually I'll think about what I wanted to do with this because I was going to put it that maybe I would stamp this and kind of pop him on there so kind of want to have an idea of what his legs are doing that's cute that'll be fine okay uh, I'm going to let that set up and I'm going to grab a, another um, another paper and whatever else I was going to do to top the card base with clean up a little bit and I'll be right back Okay, so I'm going to use this die um, for one of the label die sets like our basic die sets here I'm just going to cut this out uh, run this through and I will be right back okay and we have our piece here I am going to use a stamp positioner because I do want to put that little kind of circle in here <laughs> how sweet you can even do a lot of stamping with the little like sprigs and stuff where you can color it in. Super sweet. I'm just putting that there. I'm trying to think where I want to put that because I just kind of want to pop them in there. Not really. It's just kind of like an accent piece. So I just want to see if it needs to be more centered or just square. But that looks good. So we'll do that and we'll stamp it. Oh, I was going to do black ink, but maybe it cute look cute in brown. Let me grab some brown ink. I'll be right back. Okay, I have this rich cocoa color. This is a photopolymer stamp. This one has a little dispersion layer. It's a little bit sticky on the top. Aww, that's good. Um, okay, let me clean up and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's bring all these pieces together. We're going to put this down. Oh, I guess he could be a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> and I'll let you know I don't know what a partridge looks like. I'm just figuring it's a bird. And we have the little pears. Oh, one of the examples I think they had, um, it looks more like a cardinal with like a Christmas background. That is really sweet. Love that idea. Um, I'm going to put this little guy here. And I'm just sticking it down flat, but again, if you want your dimensions, put some dimension. That's always good. Uh, put that there. We have our little guy. I think he's just going to chill here. <laughs> How cute. And then I'm going to pop this guy up. I'm wondering if I should pop him up and pop that up. So what I'm going to do is I'll first put the wing on just so I can see kind of what that looks like. <laughs> Not a very dimensional wing. If I popped him up, what that would look like. Oh, that's what I'll do. Sometimes you always go with like one level of popping things up, but if you kind of give it a little jaunty angle, it's kind of fun too. So I'm going to use this 3D glue gel. I'm going to put it back here. And, oh, something sticky there. And then on his feet, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. So on the back, he's going to be popped up a little bit, but then his feet are going to be down on this. His feet there and then his little body popped up so it has like a different dimension do you see that I forget to do things like that and it's kind of fun okay I'm gonna let him set up just for a little bit and I'll bring in our notes and kind of play with that and see where I want to put his little his little notes <laughs> so cute okay in the meantime I cut the word the shadow or the black out I guess this shadow out of um, this paper also from the new paper pad and then I cut the word tweet the actual word um, from the double-sided gold paper there, which is always beautiful. And so I'm just going to put a little more glue on the back of my hand. So after that glue dries, I like to peel it off and give yourself a little facial manicure. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of peel some of that old skin off there along with it. Let's get this matched up nicely. Oh, so cute. Come on, buddy. Right down here. There we go. How delicate that little wording is. And I thought we'd just do that. So that little blue coordinates with that paper that we used. It can go anywhere. 
think I'm gonna put it there. Well, hmm. That's a tough one. Because now I'm like, I plan to put it there. All right, and then we have our little music here, music notes. So cute. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this uh, sweet little tutorial. Give them a third one, of course. That one, or maybe this one. Um. Hmm. Maybe it needs to be like this one. Let me move this guy over a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Give him a little room. Thank you so much, Spellbinders, for sending these items for review. So uh, I'll have the links in the description box. You know, uh, really sweet. Again, the clear stamp of the month really goes back to that large die really well, um, which is the one I used here. With all the different little sentiments in here, uh, flying by to say hi. Some of these are really sweet, I think, to put like on the um, envelope too. I love you more, happy birthday, thank you, and all the little birdies. And then we have these. So I'm just going to glue this down right here. I'll have some images for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.